Welcome back to the dating game. And well, Kim, you've heard our bachelors. Are you prepared with your final question? Yes, Jim. Okay, ask away. Okay. Bachelor number one, could you describe your ideal date? Yeah, get right to it, uh, Kim. I think it would be a long, explosive <laughs> limousine ride up the coast, uh, maybe to Carmel, uh, stop at Clint's place, uh, have a romantic candlelight dinner, and then after that, just uh, continue on up to San Francisco, Union Street, wonderful little dessert restaurant, and then the rest is up to you. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Sounds interesting. Okay, uh, bachelor number two, same question. Well, Kim, I'd say I'd jet you up to my private villa and my private helicopter uh, on Lake Tahoe and uh, open up a nice expensive bottle of wine, maybe throw some freshly chopped pine on the fire, and, well, get to know you in a more intimate way. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, bachelor number three. You know, I've been asked this same question hundreds and hundreds of times. What's the question? What is your ideal date? Oh, well, first I think it should be organically grown and in the right climate. No, 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 bachelor number three, we're talking ideal date here. When you meet a woman, what's the first thing you look for? A room. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My ideal date, well, Kim, I think walking is a very intimate thing. And I think first we'd take a nice, long walk together, and if the mood was right, perhaps we'd hold hands. Then we'd go bike riding on a bicycle built for one. <laughs> After that, I'd uh, take you on a beach. We'd go for a swim. Hey, that gives me a chance to show off my body, huh? <laughs> <laughs> then towards evening, I'd rent a canoe, and you could just sit there for two hours in the moonlight and watch me paddle. That's, that's all there is. That's all the time we have, Kim. And now it's time to make up your mind. Will it be bachelor number one, bachelor number two, or bachelor number three? I think bachelor number three. Bachelor number three! Hey, Pat, it looks like the suit didn't help you at all, huh? <laughs> and you, don't you have homework to do? All right, Kim, can you tell us why you chose bachelor number three? Well, bachelors number one and two just didn't seem to realize the additional amounts of CO2 and nitrogen oxides that would be released on our dates. But bachelor number three, although I did find him a little revolting, um, he was undeniably ecologically appealing. In fact, he really pushed my buttons with all that environmental talk. I only hope he can whisper it as well as he speaks it. Well, let's meet bachelor number three. Here he is, Dr. Vinny Boombats. Hey, boys, you ought to check up on the environment. Then maybe you'll get some respect. Huh? <laughs> hey, honey, the environment's getting better already, huh? 